okay, today I received a phone call from a customer and they want to do something very unusual, so I thought I'd take this so people could see the different applications for Fast Edge. They wanted to know if it was possible to actually roll a piece of Fast Edge over the edge of a panel so it stuck on both sides, essentially creating a C channel. So this is how you do it. It's very simple to do. So you take your Fast Edge. I've got a quarter inch panel here. Of course, if you're using a half inch panel, you'd want about a quarter inch overhang on each side. So with a quarter inch panel, a standard 15 16 edge band would work fine. If you're up to a half inch, you're going to probably want to increase all the way up to about an inch, inch and an eighth fast edge to make this work really well. Could you do a little shorter? Sure, but you're going to have a very small area to roll over. But this is what you do. You take the fast edge, you stick it on your panel, and you try to line it up as straight as you can. In this case, I turned it upside down, and I just looked at it real quick and picked it back up and centered it. And I'm sure we could create a jig, too, that we could easily do that with as well to get your offset on either side. Then once you've got the edge band on there, you roll it real quickly, just a little bit of the speed roll. Take your flush cut trimmers, go ahead and trim off the ends, get that all cleaned up just like that. So that's done. And then the next step, one more roll. Then all you're going to do is heat this edge and heat this edge and roll it over with the speed roller on an angle. Super fast and super easy. Watch how I do it. See my heat going on? Apply some heat directly to the top. So these edges are starting to roll a little bit, get soft. You can see I'm pushing it with my hand just a little bit to start it off. But then the nice thing about the speed roller is it creates a nice sharp crease so we have a really good uniform bend on the whole thing. So it's very soft now. Getting very, very soft. We're going to move more on the edge, a little more directionalized. And then I'm going to come in here with the roller. And see how I've got that edge just like that? So you want to roll. And you want to put the heat there just like this. Okay, so turn that off, and then I'm going to come over here, and I'm going to start to press it down. Very easy. So that edge rolled in just nicely. I'm going to reheat this one a little bit, and it cool a little bit while you doing that other one. Just make sure it's nice and soft, and it wants to roll over without any resistance. Because if there's resistance, you're going to want to go pop the top edge off, and you don't want to do that. So just a little bit of heat, just like that. Nice and soft. And there we go. And then we're over. So that's done. We go over the top. We go over that one. Pop down twice. We can even come down like this once or twice. And we create a perfect C channel very, very quickly. And it's perfect. It's seamed all the way along this edge. It's seen all the way along this edge and across the top. It's very crisp and sharp, and it was really easy to do. Hopefully that helps you.